Hello everyone, Mr. Davis here. It's our weekly update number two for the summer holidays. Um, I just wanted to keep you uh, up to speed with our developments and some of the key things going on at school. Uh, even though it is the summer holidays, we're still very busy in the background getting ready for September. Um, first of all, I just want to signpost you to our social media channels just to make sure you are keeping up to date with all of the information. Please keep an eye out for Facebook, for Twitter, uh, and obviously the video feed on, on YouTube, uh, which will give you lots of relevant information about our plans for opening in September and just about wider school life as we, as we move forward. Um, as part of that, we hope that you're really enjoying our series uh, where staff are reading The Hunger Games. Um, that was a project initially set up for our year six into year seven students, uh, but the love of reading is something that we would want for all students, but also for all families as well. Um, so please do take the time if you can, just to just to listen to those and enjoy them. Um, there is a lot of work that's gone into it um, from the team that have put those videos together, uh, but we hope it will be worthwhile and give you something to focus on uh, and a bit of t uh, quality time together as a family enjoying the story. Um, in terms of the reminders from last week, we asked you to just to keep a few things on your radar moving forward. Two of the biggest ones were uniform and equipment. Uh, it's really just a reminder. We know that there's lots of buy one, get one free. and some really good offers on the shops at the moment for stationery uh, and the return to school um, equipment that you will need. Um, so we would urge you just to be really ahead of the game. Check back on the uh, on the video for last week, and, and we can share again the. Uh, we will keep sharing with you the uniform and equipment list that you will need for September. But really being on top of it and being organised will make a massive difference as you get ready to come back for your children uh, to return to us in September. Um, following on from that, we've got the uniform. Um, thank you to all of the families that have donated uniform to us. Um, items of clothing that maybe their children have grown out of and have, no longer have a use for. We will always find a home for them and a use for them. So we will be, we will be putting out some dates uh, towards the end of the summer holiday um, on the 21st and the 26th of August, where we'll be open for anybody that might need a bit of support accessing some of our uniform to come in to see what we've got available. And hopefully that will make it a bit more accessible for students, sorry, for students and families, maybe that are struggling a little bit in these difficult times. Uh, we do want to help and we're here to talk at any point if there's anything that we can do to make life a bit easier for you. Um, in terms of our wider community, um, we are getting ourselves ready for, for coming back, as you'll see from the sign over my shoulder, um, getting our site ready to return in September. Um, part of that process and following the DfE guidance and the, the government guidance, which we know is updated uh, as recently as this morning in terms of um, people isolating if they start to develop any symptoms. Um, part of our planning also includes Sam's Gym. Uh, and on last Saturday, in line with the national guidance, uh, our gym opened again for community use. So please look out for that. And if you do get the opportunities to pop in and use it in a very socially distanced manner, clearly keeping fit and healthy, both mentally and physically, is something that's really important for all of us. So we would urge you to do that. Um, one final thing from me uh, is just about routines. Um, I can tell you myself that over the course of, um, uh, of lockdown and also now the summer holidays, uh, as, a, as a dad, my children have found it more difficult on a morning as time has progressed to get up because of a lack of routine. So it's something very much that I and we will be focusing on at home in terms of getting ready for September. So making sure that alarm just starts to get set a little bit earlier, making sure we make appropriate time for breakfast uh, and just getting ready so that when we do come back in September, that change back to the normal school day, which we haven't had for a long time, uh, is less of a stressful one for, for everybody. So we would really urge you just to start to talk to, uh, like, like we said last week, getting, getting ahead of the game, planning for travel plans as part of that travel planning and getting to school in September. Um, clearly um, times for setting the alarm, getting up, getting ready, getting out of the house, they all hinge on one another. So it's really important that you start to think about those. Uh, and our advice would definitely be just to start moving towards uh, establishing those routines as early as possible. However, we're really aware the weather's gorgeous at the moment. We've got a nice spell ahead of us. We really want you to enjoy the holiday uh, and, and the weekends as, they, as and when they come up. Um, so please look out for another update next week um, where we'll give you some more information about the plans for September and enjoy the weather. Thank you.